Hey everyone, today is Saturday, the 19th of March, 2011. Um, so this morning I was playing a bit of Lord of the Rings online and I found my mouse cutting in and out on me. Uh, went online to determine some of this. First of all, I use a laptop exclusively. Uh, it's a nice laptop. I haven't had very many problems with it ever in the three years I've owned it, I think. Um, so what I did is I did a little bit of research and I'm good at that and came to find out that it could be one of a couple of things. It could be a device conflict or what have you. It could be that the USB drivers are in power saving mode, or it could be that the drivers got corrupted somehow. So I looked into the first couple of them, nothing substantial. Uh, nothing substantive there. So I went into the device driver, found the uh, device manager, found the specific one that related to the external mouse connection via a USB port, because there's one for infrared and then there's one for USB. So I went ahead and I right clicked on it, went down to uninstall. Yes, I uninstalled it. Then using the touchpad, I just restart, shut down my computer completely and then turned it back on. And it came back on, and my mouse worked fine. I have not gone back into Lord of the Rings online yet, though, so I don't know if this fix stuck or not. But in the process, I did do a full virus scan, found a few Trojans, mostly in my Java files, which disturbs me, but is easily explained away as Java is ridiculously easy to use, I guess? I don't know. I'm not a programmer. <laughs> or... I don't care enough about Java to even try to understand it. There you go. Uh, so, I mean, that happened th th just this morning. Um, and then I... There, there's something aside from games that I like. And, and occasionally it's little things like the Little Bucket Parfait from KFC. Now, KFC is not exactly a world-renowned health food industry. Uh, or giant, yeah, but on occasion, these wonderful little things are fantastic. They haven't changed in the last, I don't know how many years I've been having these, but ever since I had a, one of these as a kid, they haven't changed in size, they haven't changed in contents, uh, I'm sure the ingredients have become refined over the years, but I doubt it. Um, even the design on the lid here hasn't changed a bit that I've noticed. Mind, I haven't necessarily been paying attention. Mostly it's the innards that I contemplate with my spoon. Yes, I am preparing to eat this bad boy. Uh, I got two the other day, courtesy of my father, and one is in the freezer downstairs, and another I am staring at right now. Mmm. The whipped topping with the chocolate sprinkles. The chocolate pudding e substance in the middle. And of course, the graham cracker base. The crumbles. Mmm. It's all delicious. And you have to take it slowly, because this does not last very long. Ah, parfaits. Or as my father calls them, parfarts. Yeah, he's a classy guy. Anyways, I'm going to eat that while I upload this video. Until next time.